Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode of the Leaner Stronger podcast. Today's episode is a very special episode because we are celebrating the birthday of Mr. Burulukkanen. Yay! <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. Welcome to the 30s Do you remember club. how to say it in Finnish? Paljon onne. Yeah. Paljon <laughs> onne. So paljon onne. <laughs> Yes, that's kind of like congratulations. All oh, right. But specifically, happy birthdays. Hyvää oh, syntymäpäivä. Of course. Hyvää syntymäpäivä. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Still practicing. No, that was good. Awesome. Yeah. So on today's episode, I feel like, you know, now that we're both in our 30s club, the 30s club, we're going to start to have some real talk. Yeah. About gonna... all the things that happen, eh? All the things that start to unfold once we hit this wonderful milestone. Yeah, you know, turned 30 a couple of days ago. And it was this morning, woke up, I had to <laughs> brush my hair like this and basically had like a handful of hair <laughs> get stuck on my hand and my, you know, knees have started creaking oh, and my no. lower back's real tight and yeah. Everything's going down Every- hill. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> going to shit. <laughs> But that's not true, is it? It's not true. No. (laughs) But supposedly this is where that dreaded downhill really starts. And supposedly it it is a reality. It It is is a reality. There's no going around it that sooner or later that downhill. Actually, kind of physiologically, it has actually kind of started from like, you know, mid 20s. Yeah. Especially for men, that's where you kind of keep your peak you know, testosterone yeah. levels and, and all that. And then ever since then, it's kind of this kind of gradual decline downhill. <laughs> downhill. <laughs> yeah. For some people, not so gradual, actually. And this is where mm. a lot of it comes to, comes back onto you. It's like, what do you want your decline to look like? Mm. Some real talk. Some real talk. Yeah. That's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah. So, you know, I think it's, it's a reality that once you hit your 30s and whatever kind of pathway you decide to choose for your life, like, you know, some people will go down the the pathway of really focusing on their career and giving their love and all their energy to, to their business or their career path, whatever it might be. And then some people, you know, they're going to look to settle down. They want to start a family. So whatever pathway you decide, I think, you know, there's there's definitely some things that you need to focus on from your health and energy perspective so that you can make sure that you're giving whatever pathway you choose the best that you possibly can. That's it. Like you want to be able to bring out your A game. Yeah. Wherever it is. Yes. You know, you want to be able to bring out your A game in your workplace if that's the thing that you really want to focus on so that you can then you know set the stage for hopefully really being well off financially and being able to do things that you enjoy doing being getting into a role Mm. that you enjoy being in where you get to contribute to the world around you and is meaningful to you so meaningful, and hopefully pays well yeah that's it obviously as well but showing up and like showing up the best version of yourself and bringing out your a game that also applies to what happens at home you know, oh, absolutely. Like after the day's work is done, can you show up as mm. your most present version of yourself, as a as a partner, as a partner, as a as a parent, yeah, and spouse, yeah, ex- well, exactly, well, yeah, partner, spouse, and yeah, whatever whatever profile you fit into yeah. at home, yeah, and I think you know we we're talking about this before. I it's it's a a bit of a fear. But obviously, I don't let it get down to me. But I want to be, you know, in my 60s, 70s, 80s, like strong, healthy, being able to travel the world. It's inevitable unless you've kind of cracked the the magic <laughs> equation. Maybe you put money into Bitcoin like 10 years ago and you can retire now. But it's kind of inevitable that we're going to be working, you know, well into to our retirement um, stages but then a lot of people have sacrificed their health or whatever it might be in order to build this empire or even just, you know, get by so that they can retire and then live their life. But what happens if you actually haven't given your body and your health the attention that it needs 
and then by the time you can actually retire and travel the world or do whatever it might be that you want to do but you're kind of held back because of your health yeah and because of your fragility mm. very fragility from the perspective of like having the energy required energy levels to to do really really cool stuff that you always wanted to do but then also just having the physical strength mm. and the movement capabilities Th- those th- those things don't maintain themselves unless you maintain it it's a it's a use it or lose it game and i think we saw a really good example of that you know unfortunately mm. over the weekend we were we did a weekend trip and we were the, staying at this hotel and in the hotel lobby we could see there's this older couple and they were like probably well into their like 80s. definitely in their 80s yeah absolutely definitely in their 80s but the lady it was just such a because the reality is that we're all in a constant battle with gravity. Yeah. You know, it's gravity gravity is <laughs> gravity is pulling you and keeping you on on planet Earth, terra firma, so that you don't fly into space. But gravity is also kind of squishing you. And over time, if you don't put in the work to be strong and be able to resist the constant pull of gravity, eventually gravity is going to win and eventually gravity wins every single one of us mm. but this lady she literally you know folded in half and like twisted and it was like you know a bit of scoliosis going on there and like her center of mass was going places and it just looked really really difficult yeah. to to move and it's really really it was a little bit heartbreaking to kind of see that you know it might it might well be holding you back from being able to live a quality your your quality of life may be slightly diminished because of your inability to move yeah freely and this strikes pretty close to home like a couple years ago or it wasn't even that long ago when my my last um grandparent passed away she had severe scoliosis and she had literally been folded in not only in half but like even beyond that and it was just very hard to look at that like knowing that like oh man like if you you just started strength training mm. 10 20 30 years ago like obviously even back then already this stuff wasn't as prevalent no like you re- didn't really know about all this amazing stuff that we have now they didn't have access to all this no. in- amazing information gyms mm. machines like qualified people qualified people who yeah, help you out that too and the pro you know there wasn't this huge culture for strength training back then either yeah you know a lot of people thought oh yeah that's what just athletes do or that's what you know gym junkies do or something that's not just for the ordinary person yeah and there wasn't like if, if you go further back than that like when she would have been in her 30s and stuff yeah you know like no such thing for as as a gym probably in Finland. No. Like probably some of the oldest gyms. Yeah. But let alone that like a woman would have walked in there. Exactly. Like never going to happen. But mm. knowing what I know about movement and strength and resilience and all this is just like man like if you just just started doing some kind of like deadlift type movements mm-hmm. and like some kind of front loaded squatting movement, some kind of upper body exercises like you would have been able to probably she would st- probably still be here because until like the literally the last couple of months her cognition was really really bright she was sharp really yeah. sharp but her body was just like sh- completely yeah. shut down and mm-hmm. just couldn't do anything and mm-hmm. was stuck at a home with freaking crazy people who like lost yeah. it already yeah. so sad. which is you know i think that really brings it home for us in that our generation and you know a couple of generations prior to us we have access to all this amazing information it's so easy to get yourself to the gym you have the tools that enable you to create a routine where you can include strength training into your life include cardiovascular training into your life include healthy food into your life especially in australia we have so much access to the most amazing food bowl in the world and so if you're not really taking advantage and kind of showing up and taking accountability and ownership for yourself and your health that's that's very sad yeah it's very sad and obviously you know there's different points in your life where you're going to be burdened with xyz um and 
obviously that's very unfortunate but I think if you can really just try to come back to what is important to my life well it's my family it's serving my family serving my friends serving my myself um, it's going to kind of shift your values and be able to kind of bring you back into the direction of okay, what's most important here and it is your health is your health it is that's that's the most important thing that you yeah. have and once you lose it you really you really don't re- often appreciate it until you lose it yeah. that's I think un- really unfortunate and it's like we're very privileged mm. and you have to honor that privileged and even though we say that it's easy for us to do these things the reality is that it's not actually easy to do these things for a lot of people like it is easy in that we have access to that yeah if you live in a modern environment and you know you're listening to this you're probably kind of falling into that category but it's still not exactly easy but hey like if it was super easy like What's the point? Like, would it be worth it? Like, do you rather want it to be easy? Or do you rather want it to be freaking awesome? Like, (laughs) really worth it? Mm, You know? Like, something that you can... You can look look back and be like, I'm so proud of myself that Mm. I put in the work into this. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and I don't want to sound... Like, come across like I'm really entitled. Like, obviously, I know that we live in a very... uh, yeah, special pocket of the world where we have we do have access to gyms and equipment and knowledge um, in our hands. Um, but then I think at the same time you do have to kind of if you're listening to this, you have to ask yourself like, am I in that small pocket of privilege? Um, like, yeah, really ask yourself, or be honest with yourself. Is it just like kind of excuses that are holding me back or or are there genuine like challenges holding me back from, yeah, challenging my myself? Yeah, genuine challenges as in like, you know, feeding yourself, sheltering yourself, yeah. like all these things. Like but if, you, if you're lucky needs. enough, exactly, if you're lucky enough to have all these basic needs covered, mm. then this is kind of the, the next thing, yeah. <laughs> the next thing. <laughs> That if you cover and if you invest time and effort into will dramatically improve the quality of your life. Not only in the future, but also in the present. Mm. So then let's quickly talk about what are maybe some challenges that are preventing people from wanting to take action. Mm. What's getting in the way? What do you you mean by that? Well, you know, I think... When we first work with people, they come and they're like, okay, I'm so motivated. Like, I, I can feel that my health is not really great. My energy sucks. I feel weak. Um, my cardiovascular is not great. I'm mm. super motivated. I want to change my life. But then, you know, you know, the motivation might start to fizzle. Mm. Um, so what are some of the conflicts that we, I guess, see that are stopping people from actually getting from A to B? And how can we help them? Yeah, I think it starts from that, having that conversation with yourself about like, what is actually important for me in my life and tying the thing that you want, which is better looks, more energy and feeling better. How does that allow you to do more of the things or do the things better that you value in your life? Mm -hmm. Whether it's helping other people, being a really good parent, being happy, being just the best version of yourself like mm. how do how are those things going to be enhanced by having more energy by having more confidence in how you look by feeling better by feeling absolutely unstoppable and strong how are you going to be able to do the things that you love better mm. because of those things i think that's the the first step yeah, so true. I think really tying that to your personal values. Yeah. If you haven't managed to tie your health and fitness routine or whatever is required, your daily habits, and fit that specifically to what you find important in your life, your success rate just unfortunately isn't going to be strong enough. And yes, maybe you can use willpower to kind of push through, push through, push through. But if you still haven't managed to tie all of those um, habits to your values, 
you're probably over time going to see it start to unravel very slowly and unfortunately you may end up back to square one. Yeah, 100%. And I think, I think the next one is realizing that extreme approaches still don't work. And I know that you've tried them before. <laughs> Don't give me that bullshit. You've tried it. You've tried extreme diet. You've tried some extreme training program. Guess what? It didn't work back then. It still doesn't work. It probably worked really well in the short term, but it doesn't work in the long term. The only thing that is more impressive than really, really quick progress with an extreme approach is the rebound back to an even worse place because consistency wins every single time. And you need to find something that you can stay consistent with for long enough so that you can actually see the changes in your body and in the way that you feel that you desire to see. Totally. And once you do make it consistent enough and hold on to that those habits, then you give your chance to actually ingrain that into your life. And then there's a lot less of that friction to kind of get get the boxes ticked it just becomes a very natural and organic part of your life exactly like how difficult it is for you to brush your teeth every morning well not very difficult no you know so that's the kind of automaticity level Mm. when you get to that like how easy it can actually be when you get to that level it's just getting there can be a little bit challenging and when it comes to getting there i think there's one more piece of advice that i would give to people is to apply the same same strategy that you already apply in other areas of your life. If you need to get good quality legal advice, who are you going to go and see? You're going to find a professional lawyer who's very, very qualified in what they do and who has a proven track record and a very solid system that has delivered positive results for people who've been in the same situation as you, facing the same problems as you. The same thing goes for financial advice. You want specific tailored advice to your circumstances, nothing else. That's it. And and a proven system that does this has this actually helped other people in the past. You know, when it comes to health and fitness, like we do appreciate that, especially if you're in your early 30s, maybe you're saving for a mortgage or you're paying, you're lucky enough to already have a mortgage because it's a bit of a step to get to that, which we're trying to work on at the (laughs) moment. We appreciate that hiring, you know, one-on-one personal training on a weekly basis might be a little bit out of budget. And that's exactly why we've created a perfect solution for that, which this solution helps busy professionals who need the structure education and skills, support and accountability to get to their goals of looking and feeling better, but without the price tag of one-on-one weekly personal training. This is a very proven system with a lot of people on it currently getting great results. It's called the Leaner Stronger Online Coaching Membership. And yeah, like that's literally the best solution get all those things with a much lower price cost than personal training that's it and you know i think our biggest mission is you know on the basis of this podcast is longevity it's health it's strength it's being full of energy and having the vitality so that you can do all the things that you want to do in this life and more perfect love it so if you're interested in learning more about the leaner stronger coaching program don't hesitate to send us a message on instagram at coach Peter or Co- Teresa on at coach Teresa west or sending me an email on hello at coach Peter.com. if you've enjoyed this episode and you know of someone who would also enjoy hearing this message in their life right now and they need to hear this message in their life right now would you please do them and us a favor and share this episode with at least one other person Thank you so much for watching and listening. We truly appreciate you. This is Coach Butter. Coach Teresa. We'll see you in the next episode.